Hello and welcome to The Philosopher's Angle, your daily French philosophical take on the news headlines. This is an AI-generated podcast based directly on the writings of the philosophers discussed, but like all AI, it can make mistakes. In the news today, October 24th, 2024, story, biodiversity is declining faster within protected areas than outside them, according to research. The study found that between 2000 and 2020, biodiversity declined by an average of 1.9 percentage points in unprotected critical biodiversity areas and by 2.1 percentage points in protected areas. Researchers warn that simply designating more areas as protected will not automatically result in better outcomes for biodiversity. Protected areas are often designed to preserve specific species rather than entire ecosystems and may have already been degraded before protection. Climate change, corruption, and lack of resources also threaten the effectiveness of conservation efforts. Commentary inspired by the writings of Bruno Latour, The Paradox of Protection, Why Safeguarding Nature May Be a Self-Defeating Effort. As the stark reality of biodiversity's precipitous decline sets in, it's tempting to assume that protecting natural areas is a straightforward solution. But what if our very attempts to safeguard nature are, in fact, hastening its demise? Recent research reveals a jarring paradox. Biodiversity is dwindling faster within protected areas than outside them. This finding should prompt us to re-examine the underlying assumptions of conservation efforts and confront the limitations of human intervention. According to Bruno Latour, we have never truly been modern. Our existence has always been inextricably entangled with the natural world. The notion that humans can control and protect nature through legislative measures is a fiction born from a centuries-long process of purification, which artificially separates society from nature. This distinction is not a given, but rather a product of human ingenuity aimed at creating a clear boundary between the two. However, as Latour incisively observes in We Have Never Been Modern, humans are not exterior to nature. We are part and parcel of it, just like animals plants, and objects. This realization should lead us to rethink our conservation strategies, which often focus on preserving specific species or ecosystems rather than acknowledging the intricate web of relationships between humans and non-humans. Protected areas, in particular, embody this flawed approach. By designating certain zones as off-limits to human activity, we inadvertently create a false sense of security, assuming that these areas will somehow magically regenerate and thrive on their own. But the truth is that many protected areas have already been degraded before protection, and climate change, corruption, and lack of resources continue to erode their effectiveness. The paradox is particularly striking in protected areas, which serve as a microcosm for the broader challenges facing conservation efforts. By treating these areas as separate entities, we neglect the complex interactions between humans and non-humans that shape these ecosystems. This oversight can lead to unintended consequences, such as disrupting delicate balances within the ecosystem or even creating new environmental problems. Latour's concept of hybridity, the idea that human and natural systems are inextricably linked, offers a more nuanced understanding of conservation efforts. Rather than trying to protect nature from humans, we should focus on creating more sustainable relationships between the two. This approach recognizes that humans are not separate from nature, but rather an integral part of it. In Politics of Nature, Latour argues that our goal should be to bring about a new politics of nature, one that acknowledges the intricate web of relationships between humans and non-humans. This entails moving beyond the simplistic notion of protection and toward a more holistic understanding of conservation. Ultimately, the paradox of protection highlights the need for a radical shift in our approach to conservation. By acknowledging the limitations of human intervention and embracing the interconnectedness of human and natural systems, we can begin to forge new paths that prioritize sustainability and reciprocity between humans and non-humans. As Latour so eloquently puts it in Facing Gaia, the problem is not to protect nature from humans, but to create a more sustainable relationship between the two, one that recognizes our shared fate on this planet. In the face of biodiversity's alarming decline, we would do well to heed Latour's wisdom and re-examine our assumptions about conservation. 
By doing so, we may just discover that the most effective way to safeguard nature is not to protect it from humans, but to work in tandem with the natural world. Acknowledging our shared existence and interdependence. The fact that our attempts to shield nature from human impact may be having the opposite effect is a symptom of a deeper disease. Our failure to recognize the intricate web of relationships between humans and non-humans that shape these ecosystems. Thank you for listening to today's episode of The Philosopher's Angle. Be sure to come back tomorrow for another reflective take on the day's news.